Hello, welcome to Retro Tech 100. And following the Ant Stream video I did, I thought I'd make a video on this. It's CoinOps Forgotten Worlds 4. It's a front end for emulation, for arcade, and also console games. All in one little neat package. You can download from arcadepunks.com. So you download the package, it's about 27 gigs. Extract it and it runs straight out of the box. It's pre-programmed to set up for uh, Xbox 360 controllers and Xbox One controllers. But there's lots of information on arcadepunks.com to be able to set it up the way you want it. Um, Douglas Titchmarsh and Darren Titchmarsh, the Titchmarsh brothers, set me up on this. I'm going to show you how this works. I'll leave the links in the description for you to download it yourself. Um, it is emulation. There are ROMs involved. If you're not keen on downloading ROMs, this isn't for you. But it's very straightforward. And it's in the grey area of emulation. So we won't worry about it too much. I literally go to the, um, the application and it starts up in a couple of seconds. Now I'm running this on a little Core i3, little Core i3 mini mini PC. Show you down there, but look like I was playing um, and stream on just that little PC there, just built in integrated graphics. A lot of these games don't take a lot of graphics power. God, that's annoying. So it's set up as follows. You have all games at the top. Then you have your favourites. These can be set by pressing Windows keys uh, plus a letter. Uh, but most of the controls are using the controller. So playing the games and coming out of games and adding coins and such. Your last played, I was playing 64th Street last. And uh, you have, what's this one? No. Here you go in, this way. A console game, so there's a smatter in the console games. If you see in the corner, it shows you how many uh, are in this folder. It's 143. That's basically bits of everything. All in alphabetical order. Alien 3, Elisa, Dragoon, all sorts of things. Axel A. It's a smatter in of console games anyway. That's not a full gamut of console games. But there's plenty, plenty to get you going. If you've just got a little computer you want to hook to your TV or a monitor, you just download this one application that's got everything in it. So great that way old school games I'm just using my controller just a literally a GameStop Xbox 360 controller pack compatible one so you got Bosconia, Buck Rogers, Burger Time Chase HQ stuff like that you got Run and Gun stuff like Alien Syndrome, Battle Chopper Kadash, Cal 50 there's 96 games in this uh, folder Let's go back to old school. There's a hundred, there's 96 in there as well. Then you've got uh, beat em ups. Beat em ups, yeah. So you've got X Men, Alien Storm, all the uh, arcade beat em ups you'd want, really. There's 64 in here. It's not all you'd want, but a lot of the big hitters, you know, there's Double Dragon, Double Dragon 2, Double Dragon 3. We'll try and forget Double Dragon 3, Dungeons and Dragons, Final Fight, Golden Axe, Growl. It's got loads of great games in it. King of Dragons, King of Monsters. And you got Fight Club, so stuff like Zero Blade, uh, Fatal Fury, <coughs> excuse me, uh, Street Fighter, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, Karate Champ, Killer Instincts, just it, it, any kind of game you'd think about, you'd want to play in the fighters, basically is there. And then you got Shooters, so in all the 1940s, Air Duel, Airwolf, Batrider, Batsugan, Battle Gregor, Cotton, Darius, all that kind of thing. So, there's 111 games in there, and in Fight Club there was a 61. Uh, so let's go and play, let's have a uh, play a fighting game. So literally you go down, down the list of what you might want to play. Killer Instinct. Really want to kind of get on a, it's kind of a showy game. How about uh, Marvel vs Capcom? Let's get you straight there so you can see what's occurring. I'm just using my TV. They've done the bezels. You can actually mess with this um, in the AutoVac file. If you saw where I clicked on the application and other files, if you change slight settings in there, it gives you different effects, different bezels, um, not a curved screen. Um, all the, the FAQ is in the Arcade Punks website. That I'll link in the description down below. 
If you just recording, you just press start, it coins up. Oh no, it doesn't hold on. I mean, there we are. It's the select button on a 360 controller, and then the start for a normal start. Spider Man's always one of my favourites on here, and Rio, of course. As you can see, it looks great to be honest. And um, we'll go with easy. <coughs> Felt by mode. Turn it up a little bit. Give me all handed to me as usual. Usual madness that is X Men versus Street Fighter. <laughs> Can't remember how you change the different characters now. Do I wait till I'm dead to change back to Spider Man? I did know, but. Depends on what control you've got. As you can see, I died in there. Now it's Spider Man, though. See, very cool X Men vs. Street Fighter, actually. It's a great fighter. It's Spider Man. As you see, if you notice on the uh, screen, there's actually marks that looks like it is actually uh, a CRT, which is very cool. It looks great, really good on um, this this control, this TV. So uh, simply, when you get your ass kicked, you want to play another game, you just hold start and select. It takes you back out. Uh, I don't know where that record your game comes up, but it won't come up on yours. That's just Windows. Uh, and then you're back out again. You're back to the. Uh, you're back to the picking screen. You should go down and play another game. If you play Coin Ops on the original Xbox, it's very similar to that. It's just faster because obviously the original Xbox is, um, well, must be 17 years old now. Oh, Battle Gregor. It's really good. It will, I'm pretty sure it will run on nearly any old computer you've got kicking about. This is just a Core i3 third gen, so it's one core two threads it's nothing special at all eight gigs of ram so any computer you can buy for 30 or 40 pounds on facebook this will run it so wait till it does its thing remember it's loading up an arcade rom so it thinks it's on an arcade machine uh these buckers always take so long yada 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 Obviously, this is playing vertical mode, so there's larger borders. So I'm coining up there. I'm not great at schmucks, but I do enjoy them. I see, if you want to get out to another game. Simple as pressing start and select. So, just press start and select, you come out again. Let's play one more game, let's play... Uh... By the way, the D-pad and the analog stick work on a 360 controller. The 
The borders are really nice. And the, uh, looks like it has an actual marks on the screen. It's brilliant. Like I say, you can change that in the settings. But I just like the way it looks. Oh, we haven't got time for that crap. Picked the wrong game for this, didn't I? I don't know. Let's get out and play another game. So you just go along there. If we... What do we fancy? Play Castlevania Bloodlines. Yeah, the bezels are really nice. I do enjoy them. Really adds to it, and then you don't have black screen on the, on the edge. Everybody, most people will be playing on white screen. But the good thing about having a PC is you can hook it. Now I could hook it to a VJ monitor I have, uh, and CRT, or I could hook it to an LCD 4x3 monitor, or anything I've got kicking about. I do apologise for my shit gameplay. It's really just to demonstrate that it works so well. And also, you know, you can record this quite easily. I'm not, because I, I just wanted to have this uh, this feel of, uh, you know, just straight out of the box kind of play. You could record this easily uh, with a built-in uh, Windows function, which I'm sure it, on a car i3, I, th I think it would record just fine. Or on an old laptop you've got kicking about. I might actually try it on a very old Lenovo ThinkPad I've got and see how it manages. I think it should be fine. <laughs> they just love me. Anyway, I'll get out of that. Thanks to Douglas Titchwash and Darren Titchwash for showing me how this works. Um, the link to Doug's channel is in the description down below. The link to arcadepunks.com website where this file is. I'll link in the description down below. It's a torrent file. Um, it downloads pretty fast if you've got a decent internet. It's about 27 gigs, so if you've got pretty medium internet, maybe a couple of hours. But it's definitely worth the download. By the way, if you can't download it, I'd be happy uh, if uh, you're known to us on the RetroTech 100 website to send you a USB key with it on and uh, we could uh, send it around the usual crew if you'd want it, you know. So if, if a download is an issue for you, maybe your internet's crap, I'm quite willing to uh, send you a USB key and uh, just either send it back to me or send it on to the next person who wants it. This has been RetroTech 100. I'll see you next time.